Hi friends! So guys, for today's video I am finally getting around to doing a tutorial of this palette. I've had this palette now for a couple of weeks at this point and I'm finally getting around to doing a tutorial with it. So this is obviously from the brand Kick Face and it is their first launch and their first eyeshadow palette. If you don't know, Time the Infamous on YouTube here, this is her brand and she was kind enough to gift me this so this is PR. I'm so excited, I'm so excited for this palette. This is just just, this is just so me, even right down to the name of the palette and the brand Cake Face. We unite. <laughs> Us Cake Faces. <laughs> I love it so much. So of course whenever you open up the package, this is what it looks like here and then you have your palette. I just think this is beautiful. And then this is the palette here. This is of course the outer packaging and then whatever you open it up, it's the same packaging inside. And then as you can see it has like a nice matte finish. And then of course at the back here, just at the top, we actually have like a wee paragraph from Time as well. And it just says here that it was established as a merch company in 2014. And that's actually whenever I first discovered Time. Um, I've, been <laughs> I've been following her on Instagram and YouTube for years at this point. Like to me she, and for a lot of people she's just like an OG influencer and then to have her actually like message me and send me this is like a a bit of a moment to say the least. It also says here that Cake Face catered to the everyday makeup artist and makeup enthusiast who loved heavy, intense, unapologetic makeup. And it also just says here down at the bottom, Cake Face used to be a derogatory term. People would call me that all the time and then I thought, yeah, do you know what? I am a Cake Face, so what? And that's what I became known for. Yeah, absolutely love it. So of course, whenever you open the palette up, this is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now I do apologise, I've stuck my fingers in this palette I don't know how many times at this point. So yeah, we obviously have a mixture of mattes and shimmers, we have our neutrals and we have our pops of colours as well. Absolutely love it. So, so pretty. So I think what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to go off camera now, just do one eye and kind of see where I'm going to go with it and then I will come back and just start filming the rest with you guys. But I think I'm actually going to be doing something maybe like a spotlight eye or a cut crease or something. I'm really wanting to actually incorporate some of the neutral shades also with some of the brights and use a couple of shimmers as well. Just kind of get a wee bit of a feel of the mattes and the shimmers, the brights, the neutrals, a wee bit of everything. And see this shade here, Space? I'm absolutely dying to use this. I don't know how many times I've actually dug my finger into this. I can actually like feel a wee bit of a dent. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. It's a pressed glitter. And I know some people aren't the biggest fan on pressed glitters and palettes, but I do. I love them. You need a pressed glitter in a palette because it can just take your look from zero to a hundred pretty quick, actually. <laughs> okay, so I just prepped my lips with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. And the first shade I took was this wee one here. So I'm just going to be applying this shade just in the inner corner and the outer corner because, as you can see, I'm just going to be creating a spotlight eye. And whenever I'm creating a spotlight eye, I always like to just press on the shadow first of all just to kind of make my shape and then I'll go in and blend it out. And then I'm going to be taking this wee precision blender brush here, this wee tiny one here, and I'm going to go into the exact same shade and just take the tiniest wee bit of that just to now help blend this out. So I'm just wanting to diffuse those lines, just the tiniest bit. I'm not wanting to blend it out too far because I'm now going to go in with the pink shade and blend this out. But as I say, I just want to diffuse those lines a wee bit so then whenever I go in with the pink, it'll just make it easier to blend out. So I also did notice that the shadow was blended out really easy as well, by the way. I'm going to go into this bright pink down the corner and it's called Kick Face. I'm just going to be taking this on a big, well, kind of like a medium size blending brush. And this is from Buff and Blend. So I know I have left like the center completely free of any color, but I'm now just going to kind of blend that over slightly. 
Because of that blending kind of takes um, some of the intensity away from the outer and inner corner, I'm going to go back into this shade again on a flat packing brush. And I'm just going to pack that shade on just an outer and inner corner. And I'm also going to kind of bring it in as well. What? <laughs> And then taking this big brush here, might take a wee bit of the brighter pink on it. And just go around everything. Okay, so I've just got a big fluffy brush and I'm just packing on a wee bit of the P. Louise eyeshadow base just up the center of the lid. Now for my shimmer, I'm gonna be taking this just on a flat packing brush. This is just a wee one from P. Louise. And I'm gonna go into, oh my gosh. So this is just like a really nice, intense yellow gold. I think these yellow golds are absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to apply this just up the center. And blending it out to the sides as well. So just taking that flat packing brush that we took for the outer and the inner corners and I'm just going to go along up the sides of that shimmer and just blend the sides, the, the match shade into the shimmer and just blend the shimmer out as well. It does take a wee bit of time to kind of get it perfected but you just need to go back into, back and forth between your shimmer brush and your matte shade brush if that makes sense. <laughs> I just go out the center and stuff. Can I take this big fluffy brush as well actually? See if it's a wee bit quicker. I'm just gonna go on with a wee bit of this wee pigment here. It's from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and it's in the shade 24 Carat. Oh my god, it's flying everywhere. And I'm just going to pack this just up the center. I'm not going to start my skin. I'm not going to be spending far too much time on it because I'm just going to speed through it and kind of make this tutorial just kind of more all about the palette and the eyes. And also because I'm wanting to come back to the palette again and I'm thinking of actually using a couple of the blue shades along the lower lash line, like a matte and a shimmer somewhere. I know I did mention that I was wanting to actually use some neutral shades as well, but... I don't know where I'm going to put them. <laughs> and so yeah, I think I'm just going to be sticking to like more of the colours she is in this palette for today. And then obviously I'll definitely be using this palette again in the future. But yeah, I think that would look quite nice actually because see this shade here. This shade here is absolutely gorgeous. So I've quickly just uh, prepped my skin there. I used the MAC Strobe Cream in Peach Light. And then for my foundation... <clears throat> I'm going to be taking the KVD Beauty... Good apple foundation. <laughs> I always look so funny whenever I just have foundation on. And then for a concealer, I'm gonna be taking the NARS, what is this? The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm taking the shade Vanilla. I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Tantor, this wee one here. Not necessarily my favourite, but I've hit pan on it, so I thought I might as well just use it up instead of actually like been in it. Holy shit. So I also just done a wee bit of a back in there. I took the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This wee powder is actually growing on me quite a bit, actually. Still definitely not my favourite and I don't understand the hype whatsoever but it's not bad actually, it's, it's quite nice. I'm going to be taking MAC Whisper of Guilt as my highlight. So this wee blush is actually on sale on Colourpop at the minute and they're having a wee 25% off sale just in case you want to pick it up now that it's on sale because it's so good. And then to bronze up the skin quickly so we can get back to the eyes. I'm going to be taking this wee on from Makeup Forever. I'm trying to get rid of this and it just will not go anywhere. 
Okay guys, so I just went off camera there and done my lashes and just done this eye off camera, done my lips, just to kind of speed myself up. So I'm first off going to take the P. Louise base and this is in the shade Bang and Blue. I'm just going to take those just on a wee um, brand brush and I'm just going to be popping this just in my waterline. I also thought this would actually look really cool if I had a really bright blue waterline and I actually then just put the pink on the lower lash line and then I'm also going to take a wee bit of that base and just drag that along the lower lash line then I'm going to take just another wee flat brush and I'm going to go into the blue shade I'm going to do this while that base is still tacky It's honestly like the most beautiful blue, it's so nice. And so then I'm just going to be switching between it, just like a wee blending brush and this wee brush here, just to kind of blend it out, pack it on, blend it out. You know how it is by now. And then I just wanted to make that blue pop in the lower lash line a wee bit more, so I'm just taking this wee mascara from L'Oreal. Oh my god, I love it. Okay guys, so this comes to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I just want to say thank you so, so much for time for sending me this wee palette. It's absolutely beautiful. And of course, a massive congratulations to you and your brand. And I honestly wish you all the best and all the success. Um, I will just show you some other wee close up of the eye look as well before I go. I'm honestly so, so happy with how it turned out. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I have a lipstick all in my teeth. That's get it together make it <laughs> um but no like oh my goodness I absolutely love it of course as you've seen the stains in the palette were really really nicely I pigment it they blend out easily at the mattes and the shimmer as well I only actually used one shimmer right oh god yeah I only did yeah do you know what I was gonna do I was gonna use this shade here also on the lower lash line of this wee shimmer shade but I kind of just like it the way it is I think it's really really nice literally just the way it is um so yeah I'm not so obsessed I love it I will definitely be using this in the future again the shade here was absolutely beautiful I love like really brassy yellow golds like that and of course the pink was stunning this color here was absolutely beautiful I'm also dying to do a look with the pressed glitter it's absolutely hilarious because I can literally see like a dent in it from how many times I've actually like stuck my finger in it just to look at it <laughs> because it's beautiful <laughs> and I love the packaging of it as well, really, really nice. Of course, guys, I will link it down below for you, um, along with all the products that I did use in today's tutorial, because I know I really did speed through the makeup and I didn't even do my lips or anything, but I just wanted to kind of speed through all those wee silly wee bits and bobs because I just kind of want to make this tutorial mainly all about the palette. Um, so yeah, all that will be listed and linked down below in the description box along with my Instagram. So don't forget to go and follow me on there. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you're all staying safe and well. Please be kind, look after yourselves and each other and I shall see you in my next video.